Hey everyone, it's Leo with Dreaming Tree, and I wanted to make this video because I heard about uh, a little bit of an uproar regarding design space today. And I was just curious, uh, we did reach out to Cricut to find out if something changed, because uh, I was looking at the release notes and didn't see anything. Uh, I just have a little video that I want to watch with you. So I actually brought up one of our files from our site uh, that contains some score marks because uh, one of the issues that people were reporting was uh, the new desktop version of Design Space kind of bounces around when it's cutting score lines. So uh, before I say anything else, let's take a look at this video. We're gonna watch it together and you guys can decide and I'll give you my thoughts as well on what's going on. So here, let's go ahead and start this video. So we're gonna watch this video together and I'm gonna point out some things along the way here, okay? So go ahead and start it here. And you can see that they're all gearing up at the same time. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the desktop version starts at about nine seconds. It gets going right away, okay? And then the iOS starts at about 11, so about two seconds later. And then the web version starts about seven seconds later. Okay, so right there, you see the difference between the desktop version, iOS, and the cloud-based web version. The desktop version gets going right away, and that makes sense because it's local. Now, let me pause this and go back for a second. And actually, it helps if I scrub through this. You can see here, take a look at the web version. Okay, the web version here, let me go back to the beginning. That's the one on the top right, okay? The web version, what it does is it actually cuts the larger shape first, and then it starts doing the score lines. So you can see that on the top right. Okay, it's doing all the score marks. Now take a look at the iOS version, bottom left, same thing. It cuts the large shape, second large shape, and then it does the score marks, and it does them all in order, okay? Now, the desktop version, the new version, if you take a look, when it starts, it just begins with the score marks, and then at about 39 seconds is where it starts to kind of skip back and forth between the score marks, okay? And then once it finishes the score marks, it does the outer, port, uh, the outer cut, and then it begins the inner part of the second shape. Okay, and I'll show you that shape. That shape will be there in the uh, little black area. Okay, so basically my point is this. I don't think that this is a bug. I think that this is actually an update or an improvement. And the reason I say that is because, well, for one, if we scrub through this a little bit quicker here, you'll see that right about here at 155, the desktop version finishes the cut. Okay, so it's already done. The web version and iOS are still cutting and we are now 10 seconds, uh, it's 10 seconds, taking 10 seconds longer. Okay, so let me scrub through this real quick and I'll show you here. So the web version finishes at two minutes and 19 seconds. So that's almost 25 seconds longer. And then the iOS version finishes at 224, which is a whole 30 seconds longer. Um, so in a nutshell, even though the desktop version is bouncing around in some areas with score marks, uh, it's working from the inside and then out. Typically, when a machine cuts inside first and then works its way outside, it creates a more stable platform um, for the paper as far as you know the cutting so that you don't accidentally, uh, doesn't jostle the paper around as much. So if you cut something on the outside first and then work inside, it may kind of move that large outer piece around. Okay, so this may be an update and an improvement for stability. Uh, now, here's the thing. I've only tested this with one shape. So I would love for you guys to cut your own shapes that have score marks or anything for that matter and take a look and see if you can compare. Uh, I don't think you need to compare it for all three versions. I would compare the new desktop version to either the 
iOS version or the web version to see what sort of differences you see. Maybe pick something simple, cut them both out, one with the desktop version, one with either web or iOS, and see if you notice what I'm seeing here and drop a comment um, under this video and let me know if you're seeing the same exact thing. Now, again, we did contact Cricut and we let them know that we're seeing this, um, but after further review, I'm not so sure that this is a bug. I think that this may actually be an improvement. Um, so I'm gonna do some more testing on this to see if it's consistent. And I would love to see or get your feedback and see if you guys are seeing the same thing. So, so I'm planning on doing a follow-up to this video after I test out a few more uh, different cuts to see what kind of results I get. But again, I'd love to get your feedback. So definitely leave a comment on this video here or on our YouTube channel. And if you're over at YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and also like us over on Facebook so you don't miss out on any new content. And while you're with us, check out all of our amazing content over at 3dsvg.com. So thanks for watching and I look forward to crafting with you soon.